Let me teach you guys something. This is how you powder coat plastic. This is a strange room to videotape in because of the lighting. The lighting is kind of messed up and it's like really dark and weird in here. Um, anyway, um, pay attention to this. This is really, really cool. This is something I learned over time uh, and I'm gonna share my secrets with you uh, because I'm stupid. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not stupid, okay? Don't call me stupid. You call me stupid still? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to powder coat plastic, okay? Uh, you can't always powder coat plastic, but most of the time you can if you uh, do it in a certain way, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, the most amount of time that I powder coat plastic, uh, most common thing I powder coat that is plastic, uh, are center caps for wheels. Um, because they are plastic, uh, they're really thin, they melt really quickly, you can't put them in the oven, um, but when you're powder coating a set of rims, you got these plastic center caps most of the time, um, and if you don't powder coat these also, how are you going to color match it perfectly? Uh, it's almost impossible to color match it perfectly with spray cans, uh, with like regular spray paint. So uh, I powder coat them and they're more durable that way uh, and it's a perfect match. So this is how I do it. The wheel here, you have to powder coat the center cap in the rim. Not on the table, but in the rim. Otherwise, if you try and heat it up here on the table when it's just by itself, uh, it'll start to warp. It gets hot and it, and it loses its shape. But in here, it's locked into place so it's gonna hold that shape while it's heating up um, a lot longer than it would on the table so this is what you got to do and I learned that the hard way I've ruined some center caps uh, and it was a valuable lesson uh, they were my own I did some testing on my own rims and totally screwed it up and now I know you put them in here so you put them in here and then what you do is you take the heat gun and you start heating it up really hot but before it melts uh, and because of how thick the wheel is here, the aluminum, um, this will barely get hot and this will be burning hot because of how thin this is and it's plastic and this is thick aluminum. So this will stay kind of warm, not really even hot. This is burning hot. So when you start to apply your powder on, when this is burning hot, the powder actually melts on impact and sticks to this, but the powder does not stick to this. So that's what I do and I also um, activate the rim with the powder coat gun so I ground it out so the whole rim is attracting the powder so when I shoot the gun here uh, it's it's absorbing it downwards uh, in this general area even though the plastic does not have uh, the absorption because all around and underneath it's pulling uh, the powder ends up going onto it and as soon as it touches it it starts to stick and melt because of how hot I make it that's pretty much it. Okay, what I want to powder coat today is the center cap. So these are the center caps. Now they're really cheap, thin plastic. So if you try and powder coat them in the oven, they're just gonna melt and get deformed and you know just be garbage. But there is a trick to powder coat plastic, so pay attention. First of all, they're not metal, so it's not going to conduct. So, since we can't conduct the powder, we need to improvise. And how do we do that? We heat the shit out of it with a heat gun. So first heat it up, but without melting it. Just get it crazy hot before it melts. And you'll learn how to do that over time. Now, I put it in the rim 
because if you don't put it into it, the spot where it's going to be, you will deform it. This way I know it's not going to deform and get out of shape. Okay, it's starting to get hot. This rim right now is energized. Um, it's grounded, sorry. So, because it's right here in the middle of the rim and it's really hot, the, the rim is going to attract the powder and the heat's going to make it stick onto the center cap. So watch this. Oh, our gun needs some air. Alright, now watch this. Take away the heat. Add the powder. Put some more heat. Look at that. You only get one shot. If you screw it up, that's it. So don't burn it. Take your time and keep putting coats on. Oh, Wes, we got to shut the oven off. Thank you. And I'm just working it. I can literally watch it melt. I'm being careful not to burn it. As it starts to melt, the new powder sticks. So it's easy to apply more. There it is. Now you raise the heat up higher and you can continue to leave some temperature on it so the powder cures properly. You want to do this for about five minutes. Now we let that cool down and we pop it off. Good job. Powder coated plastic. Okay, see that? 
So here, it doesn't stick, right? But on the plastic, it's all melted. And I haven't applied the clear coat yet. You can see it's kind of a little like it looks grainy or orange peely. That's okay. Uh, that's because I don't want to get it too hot to give it a nice melt just yet because when I get the clear coat on there, it's going to give it that nice smooth glass finish. Uh, this is just a ground coat. But you can see it's black, it's color matched, and that's exactly what we want. So I removed that center cap and just with a blow of air, everything is off the rim. You see that? And now we're ready for the next center cap.